New here at six, we have an I team exclusive tonight. A potential break in the case involving those stolen Boston police uniforms. The I team first told you about this theft back in March. We talked about it when thieves hit Andrea's police supply in Weymouth. They cut through drywall to get to those uniforms and to tactical equipment. WBZ's chief investigator Cheryl Fiandaka is with us now with some new information that Cheryl, I know you just got. We did. And, you know, David and Lisa sources say investigators are focusing in on the suspect who was involved in a string of bank robberies. And just last month, that suspect led police on a chase that ended with the shutdown of part of Route 495. Police say this surveillance photo shows Anthony Mealy in a ballistic vest, face mask, and goggles holding up a bank at gunpoint. A month later, police posted this photo of Mealy after allegedly attempting to rob another bank, this time dressed in what appeared to be a full police uniform and vest. And the I-team has learned investigators believe some of Mealy's uniform and equipment was stolen in the March break-in at Andrea's police supply store in Weymouth. Hi, Sorry, can we just talk to you about, law enforcement only. Can we just talk to you about what happened? At that time, no one from the store wanted to talk to the I-team about the theft of Boston police uniforms, jackets, and equipment, including a ballistic vest. Weeks later, the Weymouth police and the FBI tweeted a $5,000 reward for any information in the break-in. <laughs> the concern that someone could impersonate a police officer during the marathon led to heightened security and officers being told to be vigilant. It wouldn't be until July when state police spotted Mealy's car that was allegedly used in the bank robberies. That led to a chase in an hours-long standoff on Route 495 that police say ended with Mealy dead from a self-inflicted gunshot. In his car, sources say were police uniforms, ammunition, a ballistic vest, police scanner, and an earpiece. And the Essex County District Attorney tells the I-Team it is investigating the incident on 495 and that probe is ongoing. David, Lisa. Cheryl, thank you.